Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of me building in the Pirate Town. Oh boy, spoilers. Uh, so today is a little bit of a special thing. We are back in our Pirate Town because it seems like you guys all enjoy what I do here. And like last time we did a stream of Tech Parasaur, please. Please, can I do something? So, like last time we built uh, the jail raid, and uh, with our last stream, we built ourselves a little bit of a gate over there. Uh, you guys will probably have another stream in between that and this. But for today, I was playing around making ships, and I made myself a Viking ship over here. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be um, exploring uh, how to build this thing, how to build the Viking ship, uh, make it look pretty, and uh, yeah, I'm, I might do I might do a smaller one than this one. I don't I'm not sure yet. Uh, we're gonna see how that turns out. But let's just uh, start with actually uh, building it. Well, let's get over to our skull here, and uh, yeah, I gotta. <laughs> get out of escape mode and get out of cave camera and all that kind of stuff so here we go so uh, first of all we're gonna need a raft which I don't know where it is so I'm just gonna do this <laughs> let's put that raft down there we go we're gonna hide the sail there and we're gonna uh, be using a lot of tricks like a lot of tricks from uh, ye oldie chicken bone uh, you guys might remember him from the Pooping of All series, but he did a lot of raft stuff, like that uh, pirate ship over there is actually his design, uh, largely, so uh, yeah, I'm not doing a tutorial on that one uh, for today, uh, but let's get kind of like in open water, that is kind of a, an issue over here, uh, open water is not very something you find right now, um, yeah, this town this town has kind of grown out of proportions right now. <laughs> it's kind of insane. So let's just get uh, materials for like all the stuff. I'm just going to grab like stuff for 100 foundations. Because why the heck not? Uh, so what we're going to need is we're going to need a wood pillar. Uh, like a couple of wood pillars actually. I think like three wood pillars, two ceilings, and two foundations. Let's start with that. And then what you want to do, um, this is kind of like the trickiest part of everything. Uh, what you want to do is you want to put this uh, on this ledge over here. And you kind of want to angle it so that everything is uh, almost glitching through it. Uh, it kind of moves around a little bit. But you go into cake camera right here, crouch, because otherwise uh, your foundation is going to be off the raft there. And what we're going to be wanting to do is, like, we're going to be placing uh, two foundations, right? We're going to be placing one uh, right here. So your, uh, um, what's, it, what's it called? Like, the, the right post is halfway on, on the ledge there. We're going to place that. That is going to be our first foundation. So if you did this right, you should be able to have, like, two foundations next to each other. And they're kind of kind of the same on both ends. But let's not place this one just yet, because uh, we're going to need this foundation for other stuff. So what we're going to do is, uh, this is also a trick from, from Chicken, and it still works actually, which is it's kind of interesting. We're going to lower our, our foundation into the ground at least a couple of steps. So that is step one, and what you want to do is you always want to remove from top to bottom uh, except for the one foundation, and you just repeat that. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you repeat that, as you guys are gonna see, if you repeat it on the other side, it's gonna work all the same. So let's just do this. And yeah, you can do this on vanilla. It just requires a lot of stuff, you know? So let's see how far I wanna take this, I think either like this or just one lower i think one lower like the the viking ship over there it kind of turned out that it was a little high uh or the windows or the rudders are a little high the oars are it oars let's just call them oars now uh they're a little high so let's lower this even further if it wants to doesn't seem to want to 
is interesting. Oh boy. This is why we have enough materials. What? What are we doing? Why were we shaking like that? I think this is good enough. So, here we go. Let's do this. Let's take that away. And then let's just uh, start working on our foundations here. Um, so that is like trick one. <laughs> trick one, basically. Uh, now all we want to do is trick two. And trick two requires us to have uh, thatch shillings. Uh, I don't know why thatch, actually. But it's just the way it is, actually. So, thatch shillings and then our wood foundations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be placing a thatch ceiling and then miraculously a wood foundation can go underneath it. Uh, at some point they patched this, at least according to like Chicken's 2016 video, they patched it the week after he posted it, but I don't know. They, they Somehow they took it out again. So, um... Yeah, let's see. We want to have one, two, three, four, I think five. Because we want to have a little bit of a point, right? Because I think that if I place another ceiling like back here, yeah, it's going to say too far away from the platform. So that means that these already need to go. So from the back, counting from the back like here is one, two, three, and four. And weirdly enough, we can, we can do more foundations on the back than we can on the front. So that is one, two. Uh, so let's see, that's one, two. Three. I think I made that one seven, actually, thinking about it, because what happened was, uh, like, the mast, the mast is exactly in the center, and that's somewhere around here. I don't know where the, yeah, that is going to be, like, right inside of your steering column. So if you want to, uh, by the way, this boat is not made for actually boating, <laughs> weirdly enough. Uh, I might actually... Let's just try this. Let's see if I can make it eight long. Let's see if it wants to. No. Okay. Because we need that this little structure actually for the for the bow and the stern of the ship. So that is that. Uh, next up, we are gonna need our ceilings again, and we're gonna need uh, like two wood walls. And a lot of fence foundations. Uh, this is where the magic is going to happen. So we're going to place this there. Uh, this at a 45 degree angle. Same on this side. Uh, if it wants to. There it is. And then we place... Uh, walls like so. We want the, the dark brown on the outside there. Uh, very important. Not that it matters right now, because we're going to remove these. And so, yeah, we want the walls on the bottom here. Uh, these are the important ones, because this is where our ceilings are going to attach to. Like so. And you're going to you're gonna be left with a little bit of a V-shape. If you have S+, plus, have Structures+, plus, I would recommend uh, using the triangles. Uh, that would look way, way better. Uh, okay. Oopsies. Um, so yeah, if you have to triangles, use them. Uh, they're very handy. They look way... In this case, they look way better. And normally, I'm not someone to applaud S Plus a lot. Especially on this build. Uh, but yeah. In this case, S Plus is better. So I need to fix my mistake. Because uh, apparently, like, the demo gun is a powerful tool. <laughs> powerful, powerful tool. Uh, like so... So, and then, like, so, I'm just not going to remove the, 
the wall at the bottom. You're not gonna see it anyway from the from the top. So let's place our ceiling again. Not there. But there. Okay. Now we get back on our raft. And get these two back. And that just stays like that uh, for the rest of the for the rest of the build. Uh, apparently, like sometimes even with these octagons, you can remove the bottom wall. In this case, apparently you cannot. So that's just a little bit of arc for you. So let's place those. Let's go back to the bottom here. Uh, so yeah, if you do this, uh, please don't do this in open water. Manta will kill you. <laughs> uh, they will kill you hard. And they will kill you fast. So that is that part done. So now let's just uh, create like a skirt around our, uh, our building here. So uh, we cannot see any of our, any of our foundations anymore. It's kind of the point. Like our bow, the bow of our ship or the the hull of our ship should not be made of lattice work, <laughs> I don't think. And you're gonna be seeing these pontoons, but I mean the rest of the build is kind of kind of there to distract you from that. So I don't really mind it. I don't really mind it. Uh, here we go. Let's see. These are ones. These ones at the front are always tricky. Unless you press Q and it just stays there. Okay. Oh, there's a coal there. Hello, coal. And I know they're pronounced coelacanth, but I just call them coals. I have always had called them coals for some reason. And there we go. So that is that is basically the base of the ship now done. Uh, our like our rudder right here is almost exactly in the middle. Uh, Actually, this is the middle, and yeah. So, like I like I said, um, this is not a ship meant to be uh, sailed. Uh, if you do, you you're gonna get stuck inside of the inside of the mast, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, we also need um, some wooden window frames. Here we go. So, um, what you want to do is you want to place. Uh, a lot of window frames actually so I'm just I'm gonna go from this middle and I'm gonna go out to the sides here uh, what I think I'm gonna do did I do that on that is I'm gonna place uh, that is gonna be hard I think I'm gonna place like five no actually we're gonna place four we're gonna place four this time why not we're gonna place four window frames going to the front. So it's kind of like a front heavy thing going on right now. Uh, we're gonna be placing a wall there, a wall there, a wall here. And I don't really mind that there's a gap there. Um, I could fill that up with a pillar now, now that I think about it. Um, maybe we should. Let's grab a pillar. Let's see how that looks. Uh, am I done with my window frames? I think I am. So if I place a pillar down there, oh, that doesn't actually look too bad. Yeah, that works. Okay. This kind of like things like that, right? Where you just decide if you want if you want something done like that. So let's place this. Let's place that. And like I always, I always say this: like pillars are there to hide your ugliness, to hide your seams, to hide your mistakes. That's kind of how I'm using them. Uh, did I make that same mistake over here? Yes, I did. So your pillars have to kind of like face the same direction. So let's see: you are facing the right direction; you are facing the wrong direction. And apparently you like facing the wrong direction. There we go. And now 
So let's just go back to the front of the ship. So we have more like that. And one more. That one. Oh, rain. Why? Why? Like a so, like a so, and then this is a tricky one. So that's you, and then you. So now you can kind of see like the shape of our ship forming. I want the yeah, kind of like <laughs> I'm gonna call it a banana boat. It's kind of like that that banana shape. Um, yeah. There's just no way around it, really. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let's do that. Then we're gonna just gonna copy like the the front of the ship on the back. There's nothing too fancy about this for now. Uh, I think like most of the fancy part has actually been done already. Um, no, I'm still doing it right. My brain was like, this is wrong, but no, it's right. There we go. Go. And there we go. Okay, so that is like the the base of the ship done. Uh, I I really thought this was gonna take longer than I originally planned it, but it's fine. It's fine. So let's place. Um, this is kind of extra. This is not something I have on the original build, but let's place a door. Ooh, no 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 no. I don't need that many door frames. Let's place a door frame there. Let's just get rid of those. I really don't need them. And a door right there. I am gonna place, I think like two ceilings on top of here. And this is kind of like the place where the, the guy bangs the drums, right? Actually, I can make drums. I just realized. Come on, get up there. There you go. And then, not ramps, but slope roofs. So, two slope roofs over there. Uh, I tried doing it over here. I'm g I can probably show you guys. If you do it over here, it kind of like sticks out all over the place. So I don't think that uh, really helps our aesthetic. And Basically, yeah, this is the, the back of the ship now. So let's go back to the front of it. Uh, the front is kind of easy. The front is just these two. And then two walls. Like a wall right there. And a wall right there. Just make sure they're the same thing. Uh, doesn't really matter if it's inside or outside. Uh, you're not going to see that. So this is kind of like the basis of the ship done. Um... What comes now is kind of like base of uh, interpretation of how you want it to look, right? We can uh, we can start by adding a ladder. Where is the ladder? This is a real good question. Where is the ladder? We can start by adding a ladder like back here, uh, so we can get up here. Uh, let's see how big war drums are. I just want to. I have like an excuse to use war drums. I don't have enough hide. That's probably in the vault. Oh well. So we're not gonna make those. Um, then I need benches. I have four. So I'm gonna need eight benches. Eight benches. There you go. So like I have four portholes, so I'm gonna make eight benches. I'm actually not sure which way, which way these face. Um, I think they face towards you. Yeah, they do. Which is actually not, not a problem for me, because um, if you're rowing, you're always sitting backwards. So can you place? Oh, I'm clicking next to my window. There we go. So one, two, three, and. Four uh, on the other side. One, two, three, and four. And this is kind of like the benches for our rowers. Uh, 
I mean, I need to sit somewhere, right? Okay, so. Um, I think we're going to leave the mask for last. Uh, that is... The reason for it is because if you ever want to get on the raft again, like, you're going to need to use a bird or you're going to need to uh, use something else. So I'm going to choose to go on the outside here. And on the outside, you want uh, the trusty... I always say trust you catwalks because well I use catwalks uh, an awful lot so we want them uh, underneath each window and I think they're like too long are they too long I feel like they are can I see that so there is one catwalk two catwalks yes so let's place one underneath each window see if I can stand on it Hey, I can. And jumping off a boat is so glitchy. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so let's get on the other side. Can I? For those of you who watch me a lot, like, I know I misuse my, my wingsuit. I use it a lot. I use it a heck ton. There we go. So one more underneath this window. And then one more underneath the window I'm standing on. I mean, that's kind of like Vikings, right? The Vikings, uh, classically, have like a sail, but they also have rowing oars carrying around it. And uh, I gotta count now. So we need one, two, three, four, five. So that's ten. Trophy frames, so trophy, wall trophy mount, so we need 10 of those. And those, these kind of represent uh, the shields that uh, you see on Viking ships a lot. Uh, I cannot jump while crafting, which is fine. There we go. There we go. We are on. So you want to place these in the middle of the windows. Kind of like in the middle. They don't have to be perfect. Like nothing has to be perfect on, on this build. Uh, on the entirety, in the entirety of the town build, right? Nothing has to be perfect. Oh, this kind of sucks, but eh, it is what it is. You can place these from the water as well. In some cases, that is faster. Let's place it right there. Let's get underneath. Place it on this end as well. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So now, uh, I think I want my bird actually. Ah, uh, no, I don't want my bird just now. I was thinking about it and then I thought like no I need to do something near you first I need to have like five pillars I think it's like five and one fence foundation so you have this nubbin of your of your raft like this is the middle of the ship and classically from what I can tell you have your mass of your ship always either uh, right smack dab in the center of this or you have it like one um, one towards the front I believe because your rudder is in the back so if you do it in the front you have more stability so let's just do um, let's just do it over here uh, normally like with that one I did it in the middle let's do it with this one let's do it on that side uh, which is in the middle of our rowing deck well, let's just place all these pillars and you want to place these pillars until it tells you it cannot do it anymore uh, so let's make one or two more and I cannot place it this is where I need my bird so I don't think I can place one above that but let's just check and see am I really stuck Okay. Eh, maybe we can place one more. 
Although it seems to be in the same height as the other one. Oh no. There we go. So now it says structure is too high above the platform. Okay, so that means we have reached the limit of what pillars can offer us. And Bert, no. Bert, no. Why? Why you do this to me? I just wanted you to land, buddy. Well, I wanted you to land, but now we're not going to land, apparently. So we need our... Uh, what I usually do here... I so usually place uh, thatch ceilings, right? But I'm kind of feeling like it's kind of an eyesore. Yeah, let's just place them. So we're going to do, on this one as well, we're going to do five wide. It's a five by four sail? Yeah, five by four sail. Um, so I, I tried, I tried being fancy with the sail. I tried, like adding a curve to it uh, with the uh, with the pirate one but it just didn't it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it so uh, yeah that's just that so let's get stuff for 20 thatch walls let's get this at the hot bar so let's see we need 20 that's one two three four and I believe you cannot put another thatch wall above that. This is kind of like, yeah, you cannot build one above that. So the structure is too high above the platform. Which is always, always the case. Like, a so, like a so, like a so. Aw oh, man, now I'm gonna be run short. It's just so rude. Is so rude. And one, and then let's get one more stuff and things. And there's the last one. Okay, so that is basically our boat done. Let's just grab materials for um, for the drum. So I want to see what that looks like. So let's get drum. I think it's gonna to be too big, but we never can be too sure. And this is kind of like, oh. I think for the last time YouTube saw this, uh, we had far fewer raptors in the area, but the raptors have kind of taken over, taken over the town. And it looks good. I gotta say, this looks good. Just coming in here and looking at this. Yeah, I'm happy at it with it. I might consider, I mean, that doesn't make sense. I was considering on putting up a stone rim around it. What is this bird standing on? <laughs> but yeah, that doesn't make sense material wise. So let's see. Well, that actually pretty, fits pretty nicely. So let's see if we can get this in the center. Place it. Oh, that actually fits pretty nicely. So now we can just be like, what does this do actually? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Like that. <laughs> we can encourage our people to move faster. <laughs> move faster, dang it. Okay, so I think this is uh, this is your basic uh, your basic Viking ship, right? This is this is it. Um, I, Ugh. come on, can I get up there? Let's just paint our walls. So we're gonna paint them in the red, red and white stripes. And let's not paint our bird. Uh oh, no, capo. I messed up. I done goofed. Excuse me, bird. <laughs> now I have to replace that entire row. No, I fell off. Oh, come on. Thank you. Because that one do. 
We cannot we cannot have blushes on our nice stripey flag. Like so. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys how, how this guy uh actually fares in the water. So let's just open our gate, first of all. Uh I should have should have probably made this an auto gate. Uh I didn't. This is my mistake. Um so yeah, let's get the Arjun off the raft. Come on. Get the Arjun off the raft. Let's sail this to open water. Um, hoping there's no leads out there. If there is, we're gonna be headed straight back. Okay. Yeah, you can only access your raft from the outside pontoons, and you cannot see a thing. Uh, this is. This is the problem with all rafts, really. Uh, you cannot see a thing. But yeah, this is like 30 minutes, 30 minutes of work. Uh, we got a pretty, we got ourselves a pretty Viking ship here. And this is how it sails. So I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, watching me build this. Uh, it is not the most difficult build, but it, it does its function. It, it looks pretty nice. And, well, you know, we can sail the Seven Seas now. Uh, discover Greenland, if that is actually a thing. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, uh, leave a like on the video uh, or a comment. And I will see you all next time. Bye.